How to solve one step equations using addition or subtraction. What are inverse operations? The word inverse means opposite, and operations refers to addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So if you put it together, inverse operations really means the opposite of adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. The addition property of equality says if you have two things equal to each other, then by adding the same thing to both sides, it's still going to be equal to each other. In other words, let's say I have 2 equal to 2. That equation is true. If I add 1 to both sides, which is the same thing, then I'm still going to get a true equation. If I were to simplify, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, and I would have 3 equal to 3 on both sides. So you can see that adding the same thing to both sides does not change the truth value of my equation. Similarly, the subtraction property of equality is the same idea. So if I had two things equal to each other, and I subtract the same thing to both sides, then I'm still going to get a true equation. So if I looked at the same example, if 2 is equal to 2, which I know is true, and I subtract the same thing to both sides, so I subtract 1 to both sides, well, I'm still going to get a true equation because 2 minus 1 is 1, and I did the same thing to both sides, so I have an equation that says 1 is equal to 1. So the addition property of equality and subtraction property of equality are things we can use to solve an equation without changing the truth value of it. So let's look at a problem. Here it says to solve for x. So when I'm solving an equation, my goal is to simply isolate this variable. So in this case, my variable is x. I want to isolate this term. So when I say isolate, I mean I'm going to do some steps. So in the end, it'll say x equal to something. And so you can see here, I have the x, and I also have this minus 7, the negative 7. So that means i got to get rid of this term in order to get x by itself. So that's what I'm going to do now. And we can do that by using inverse operations. So in front of my 7 is my minus sign. So I say, what's the opposite of subtracting? Well, the opposite of subtracting is addition. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And when I simplify... By adding 7, which is the opposite of this 7, they're going to cancel each other out. So I'm going to be left with x equals negative 6 plus 7, which is positive 1. My term x is by itself, so my goal is reached where I isolated the variable x, so I solved the equation. Let's look at another problem. Here it says to solve for the variable v. So as stated before, my goal is to isolate the variable. So in the end, I get something like v equal to some number. So I'm going to end up doing some steps. And what I'm going to do in this case is, again, use my inverse operation so I can move things around. So I can see here I'm adding 188. I want to get rid of that term. So the opposite of addition would be subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 188 to both sides so that my equation is still true. These are opposites, so they're going to cancel. And I'm left with negative v equals 126 minus 188 gives me negative 62. And in the case, when you solve for a variable, if you're left with a negative value, then I can simply just do the opposite of each side. Opposite of a negative v is a positive v. And the opposite of a negative 62 is a positive 62. And then my equation is solved for the value of v. So V equals 62. If you liked the video, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.